In the last episode, we got the handle cut out, we got the blade cut out, we got the lock figured out. In this episode, we're going to hopefully finish the wooden steel folder. So I put this thing together when you want the king, and I noticed some big, big problems. Biggest problem is right here. You can't see it at all. Well, you see where the light goes through there on the bottom? Yeah, right there. That's bad. It hooks straight back this way. If I notch this out for the lock, way up here, and it would only catch the edge of it right in here. I don't even think that's a viable option for this. That's not even going to work. So... This knife cannot be a frame lock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a um, a lock bar, the old style like lock bar folder. So this piece will be steel on the back. It's not light up very well for that either, but I think I can make it happen. So, um, it's too loose. I <laughs> never would have thought that, but for some reason, eighth inch thick that far back with this much leverage is like absolutely no retention. Not sure why. Uh, I don't think I need a new one yet. I'm thinking if I drill here and somewhere towards the back, this will have to flex this in to come out. So it'd be hinging here and that would push this in, flexing on the other screw and that screw. But if it doesn't work, then I have to do a new spring and a new scale because there's a hole in the wrong place. Of course, this is not heat treated yet. That could make a big difference. Let's go a little bigger than that. I don't think that did anything at all. I can make a new piece. File this out, make it a backlock. Sawzall blades make amazing springs, just like that. The further away from what you get, the worse leverage is, and the stiffer it gets, which means you get more click. I like the click. That looks like it could actually be a functional knife eventually. Now, if you're a very clever viewer, you may have noticed that this lock is useless right now because you can't unlock it, you know, like on a normal folder, indent, so you can actually push the lock down. I don't have that, so we're going to make that. All right, let's see if we can thread these holes, huh?
So I just sanded it this way to get all the lines running in the right direction. I need to go up grits on the belt sander, do all of it again. Probably go to 240, or at least maybe 400, and then I'll do the hand sand, and then we'll go to the stone wash. Pretty, we're gonna throw everything in a bucket of rocks. electrical tape for washers. I'm gonna take the screws out. This one is too long. Back one is too short. We're gonna see if we switch them, it'll actually work. Notice that was kind of um, bad was right in here, this part of the blade. The grain does not run this way, it runs this way. So you get to the very end and it gets rough. It's running cr crossways instead of forward. Scrape that way just to get that rough stuff out. Now this lock is a little bit loose front to back, so this needs to be wider or the blade needs to be a little bit narrower, the hole in the blade. I can't do that, but I can make this wider if I heat it up and I just give it a couple taps side to side and it'll squish it out a tiny bit. And we're out of gas. We're going to stick with that. It, it'll probably harden a little bit, but not much. I didn't do anything. That's not surprising though, it wasn't hot enough. Now, now what we're gonna do is up a little bit first, and then pop it back in, see if this thing locks. But let's put it together real quick. Take a little bit off the back. Stick with that. Now I think I can take material off the tip without affecting the tightness, really too much at all. The file isn't very square. This one looks a little bit sharper. I really don't know what's moving. This is moving, this is moving, everything's moving. So, I'm gonna put it together. I don't think I can fix it. Much better than my other knife. So pretty, so pretty. I'm going to work on a pocket clip. That's what I need next. And I don't want to put this together until I have my holes drilled and threaded and, you know, all that stuff. I bet that would hold its shape. Huh. Yeah, why didn't they got that before? Short one, right here.
It actually worked and it looks cool. Okay, let's put the bad boy together. Where'd the scale go? There it is. <laughs> lit dude, lit. Okay, now we're gonna put an edge on this thing and then do something that I should have done before because I should have drilled the hole for the thumb stud before, but no, I don't think I'm gonna do it a thumb stud. I think I'm gonna do a big hole, not that big, but like a 3 8 hole or something so I can just use the hole like a spider co for a thumb stud. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. I put it in there really light. Maybe, just maybe, I'll make it next.